Have you been wondering about home prices this year? Are they gonna start leveling off? Are they gonna keep going up? This is a question that comes up quite a bit. I've got some information that may surprise you. Stick around and I'll tell you what to expect in 2021. Roll the intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. Brad Myers here again. 20 year home inspector turned real estate agent with Harmony Realty Group right here in Delta, Ohio. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and tap on that bell so you're notified of my videos that come out every week. On this channel, I try to bring useful information to home buyers and sellers in and around Fulton County, Ohio. And today I want to talk about home prices. You know, are they going to start leveling off? Are they going to keep going up? So let's get started. So as you can imagine, this is a pretty popular question. Home sellers want to know, you know, are they going to see a better return on their investment when they go to sell this year? And home buyers want to know, you know, are they going to be forced to, uh, to fork out more money when they, when they go to finally purchase this year? So everybody that's been following me so far on this channel knows that we sold more houses in 2020 than we did in 2019. And the amazing thing is all the experts are, are saying that we can expect to see more home sales in 2021. If you look at this transaction forecast, you can see that Fannie Mae, NAR, and MBA all are forecasting that 2021 is going to far outpace what we've seen in 2020. And if you continue to look at what experts are predicting, you can see here on this chart, anywhere from NAR down to CoreLogic, all seven of these guys are predicting an increase in prices. If you average everything out, uh, you're still looking at a 5% increase this year. But keep in mind too, across the United States, historically, we've seen a 3.8% increase from year to year. So if you take that 5% on a $250,000 home, you can expect to see a bump, you know, twelve to $13,000 this year. Now, if you remember some of my past videos, you'll see that we had price increases anywhere from 10 to 15% last year. So you're probably wondering why they're only predicting a 5% increase this year versus the 10 to 15% we've seen last year. Well, if you remember this slide from past videos, you remember me saying that a lot of home sellers were just very uncertain about selling their homes. They just, they didn't feel comfortable with the, uh, uh, the, current economy, the financial uncertainty, and of course, COVID-19. They just didn't want, you know, 10, 20, 30 people coming through their homes to, uh, to look at it. But I believe that now that we've worked through some of those issues, we have the COVID-19 vaccine out, a lot of the home sellers that were reluctant last year are going to go ahead and sell this year. And of course, that means we're going to see more homes coming onto the market this year, and that's going to help feed the, that really high demand that we've seen from home buyers. And then you couple that with the higher interest rates that we've been seeing, you know, anywhere from 2.9 to 3.2, I think that's the reason some of the experts are predicting a little bit lower uh, price increases this year versus last year. Okay, so there you go. I hope that helps a little bit. It basically all comes down to supply and demand. So I will see you guys next week. And that is a wrap.